Okay, first take your string and make one of those loops that you can pull through. Okay, and then see, that's just your starting loop we talked about. So usually you start off on chain one, two, three. Oops, that one got stuck. <laughs> okay, three, four, five. Okay, so you just chained five. Then. Actually, you know what? We're going to chain a couple more. So, five, six, seven, eight. Now, my fingernails are getting in the way. Um, you're going to come back here and stick it through the first loop on your... Because, see, you have five, or eight now. <laughs> Okay, you have eight. Hang on, I'm going to see if I can get some more light on over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me get some more light on. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Okay, so you chained, you chained eight. And you're making a circle is what you're going to do. Okay? You're going to make a circle. So you're going to put this through your very first loop down there. <laughs> and then take it and pull it through there and pull it through here. Okay? So now you have a circle. Okay, so you have your circle, and you're basically going to make, um, well, let's start off, go right here into the very center of your circle, and pull that through. This is a single crochet, okay? And then pull it through. You know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. Let's do it this way. All we did, we chained eight and we made a circle. Now, do chain three. One. Oh, and it's getting stuck. Let me see here. Let me start that over. <laughs> okay, chain one, two, and three. Then go, oh wait, loop over, go down through this hole here, and bring it back up. And kind of high, like that. This is a double crochet. And then you come through two, and then you go through two. Okay, see? So you have your chain three and a double crochet. Okay, then you're going to do it again, another double crochet, which is loop over, go down, pull this up. And then come through two, and you got two left, and then you come through those two, and you got one left. So see, now you have your chain three, double crochet, double crochet. Then do one more. You're making one, two, three, four. Go loop over, go through the hole, bring it back up, and then pull it again and come through two. Okay, come through two, 
and then come through these two. And so far there's one, two, three, four. You're making five. And then on the last one, chain three. And then come down here. And you're hooking it on down at the bottom. And then pull those tighter though. Because that's your first petal. Okay, so look, I'm just going to pull these. Put them on the ring. That was off that wish thing. Anyway. Okay, so we're going to scoot these over. And then I'll show it to you again. Okay, so that's your first petal. So you have a chain three, one, two, three double crochets, and then, wait, do I? <laughs> Yes, okay. A chain three, one, two, three double crochets, and a chain three. And that makes your petal. Okay. Now we're going to try and make another petal. So at the end of our petal, we connected it down here with just a single stitch, single, cro single crochet. Okay, so now we're going to pull this up. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> okay, no, we're not. We're going to loop over, then go under. Okay. And now you come through two. It's hard to do this because I have my laptop on top of it, trying to film it. Okay, then come through two. That does not look right. Hang on. Let me start that over. Okay. Am I holding this wrong? No, that's for that. Okay, right, let me pull this. Oh, I know why. Because, okay, we have to chain three. Okay. So we chain three. One. Each petal, you start off with a chain three. There's chain three. Then you do loop over, come down, pull it through the hole, bring it up a little high, then pull through, bring it through two only, and then bring it through the last two. So that's a double crochet. Okay, so we're going to try that again. Loop over through the hole and bring it back through the hole. Come up high, loop over, pull it through two, loop over, pull it through two. So now you have chain three, one double crochet, one double crochet. Remember you need five to make a petal. So one more, loop over, through the hole, pull it back up, come through two, Pull it over, come through two. And now that is four. We have a chain three, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. Now we're going to end with a chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to connect it down here. So in order to connect it, we have to go through the hole, pull one up. And then just keep going and pull it through your hole. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to tighten these up a little bit. And see, now you have two petals. And we're going to make five petals. And so, remember that. Five petals, and each petal has five um, stitches. So, okay, now that we're here, pull it tight down to the bottom again and start doing your chain, your three chains. One, two, chain three. Here's the first part of the petal. 
Is it a chain three? Now, loop over, go into the hole, pull it through. Now you got three on your chains, three on your three loops on your needle. Pull through and come through two. Pull through and come through two. That's a double crochet. And again, loop over, down through the hole, pull it all the way up through. You got three on your hook. Loop over, pull it through two. Loop over, pull it through two. Okay, then one more time. Loop over into the hole to the back, pull it through to the front. Now you got three on your chain. One, two, three. Come through two. We'll grab it, come through two. Grab it, come through two more. Now that you've done that, we're up to your chain three and your three double crochets. That's four. Now a chain three. One, two, loop over and pull it two. That's three. Now, remember to connect it down here. You're holding this string back here, but you go into the hole, pull it through. And then keep pulling it, take that and pull it through this hole that's on there. There. That connects it down to the bottom. Okay, so that gives you your third petal. See, it's looking like a flower. And one more time. Chain three. One, two, three. There's no. You're making five, so there's your chain three. Come grab it, go through, pull it back up. Now you got three things on your hook. Pull it through the first two, pull it through the second two, and then do one more. And then do one more. Two, one, three, two. And now, if you count, you have your chain three, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. So now we're doing a chain three. One, two, three. And then to hook it to our circle, you come in, take your hook into the middle, come around and grab it and bring it up. But then, go ahead and bring it through that hook, too. And then I just scoot it all tight, and I pull my string back here tight. I'm trying to tighten everything up. But just if you want to take a look at it, so we have... We have one, two, three, four petals, so we have room for one more. Start off our petal, what do we do? We do a chain three. One, two, three. Then three double crochets. Loop over, come down through, pull it up, come through two, come through two. Loop over, go down, pull it up. Come through two, come through two, loop over, into the hole, pull it up, come through two, come through two. Okay, so now you have all those, you're going to end 
make a chain of three. One, two, three. And then you come through the hole. Remember, you're going to pull this up and bring it on through that hole. And then pull all this kind of tight. Okay. So when all this is tight, the next thing you're going to do, because you have your five petals, okay, the next thing you want to do, you have your flower that's your loop don't pull on it or you're going to undo the whole flower <laughs> so basically i'll leave a little tail and okay cut it and then take take the tail and put it through that hole because, see, you're just tightening this off. There. And there is your pretty little flower. Now this string was your beginning string, and this one is the tail. So basically what you can do is you can now take this flower and you can put it on a headband or something, whatever you want to put it on. Like, okay, for instance, here is this troll hat that I made. And see, I made three petal flowers for the troll hat. Because it kind of matches um, on the movie, the trolls movie. And so I made this little hat and I crocheted the bottom and made three petals to go on it. But, um,. Here is the flower I just made. So, like, if I was going to sew it on here, you know, I would just put it on here and use this long string I left on it to sew it onto here. And then you could put a button in the middle or whatever you want. Or, you know, you can layer them, <clears throat> put more than one. Um, you can also pull this little string and let me see if it's gonna work Hold on, need some more light sorry it's dark in here okay like you can pull this string and make it a little tighter but it doesn't really once you have it made it stays the size it is But, like I said, see the three petal ones I made on there? I did it the same way as I did this one. I mean, I did five petals on this one. And that is how I make... Oh, there we go. Oh, here. <laughs> that is how I make a flower.